What's up, you guys? Let's read some more energy. We're going to start with the energy oracle cards, and then we're going to clarify with the tarot. Let's see what's going on. Blossoming abundance. Yeah. Like that. A man holding a heart. Ooh, somebody's in love, but somebody is afraid to show it. Door to personal healing and happiness. Hmm. Door to spirit. Ooh, somebody needs to make a decision. Ooh, walking away. Somebody needs to walk away from something. All right, let's dig a little bit further. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Mm, the thinking man. I don't know why I just needed to pull this, but the thinking man. So I feel like somebody's thinking about this way too much. Or they could be overthinking or they're just, I don't know. Let's see what else is going on. Mm, yeah. What else? Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light. I'd like to clarify, please. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've got the death card here. There's an ending of sorts. Somebody was, um, we've got the seven of swords here. Somebody was trying to get away with some shit. Um, but this is ending. What else, spirit? Mm-hmm, somebody was stuck in their head. Let's see what else. I want to know if this person is, um, out of their head now. I feel like... Um, there's a divine masculine that needs to just basically get out of their head and just, um, get more into their feelings and, um, stop holding their heart, <laughs> but, uh, opening it. Um, and that's, that's the door to personal healing and, and happiness and the door to spirit. Um, they might also need to walk away from a situation. I'm going to say it's probably, yeah. Get the two of cups here so it kind of landed sideways i feel like they're this this masculine is dealing with a karmic who is um not their divine counterpart okay i feel like if it if, i feel like because it landed sideways it's kind of saying that they have a choice that they can have somebody that they'll work well together with or they can stick in stay in this situation um that they may or may not have walked away from or they could be walking away from currently um to somebody who who will work well with them all right what else spirit Of the high spotlight, light, what else? Three of Cups. Okay, so um, this can mean a, a few different things. The Three of Cups can be um, that, that this masculine is looking for a higher level of commitment with you. This could also mean that there is a third party. There was a third party situation that they had to work, walk away from and or they are trying to walk away from because we've got the three of swords now here sideways again it is this divine masculine's choice whether they want to break their heart or whether they don't want any heartbreaks anymore so where where is this currently like where is this divine masculine currently that's what i want to know um Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position, I just heard broke, okay? But they are, um, we've got the Six of Swords, too. They, they're walking towards a more positive place of being. Um, hmm. Away from delusions, away from the ego, and towards the Empress. So you're the Empress, the Divine Feminine is the Empress, and the Three of Wands, I feel like the Empress is just kind of, um, like, waiting for this. Hmm, this is an interesting read. What else, Spirit? Like, I feel like you can feel this, like your Spirit, Divine Feminine, you can feel this. 
going on and happening. I'm not sure that this Divine Masculine has made a choice, though. I, I don't know. King of Cups, we've got water energy here. Um, somebody who's highly empathic. Um, hmm. King of Cups, I feel like this, this masculine is even an empath. I feel like this masculine needs more fun in their life. Um, they need to stop thinking. They're overthinking way too much. Why are they overthinking? I wonder if there's like a mother or something like that that's kind of getting in the way. Mommy issues. What the fuck did I just say? Mommy issues. Okay, so somebody has mommy issues. There's, there's an issue with somebody's parent that's making it difficult for them to be able to... Um, to separate from whatever situation from this third party karmic or whatever. Okay, I don't have time. Um, so, I mean, maybe they have abandonment issues because their parents growing up just didn't have time or something like that. <laughs> yeah, this karmic, this, this feminine karmic is a copycat. Um, they don't want to sit by you, but they want to live like you, okay? So there's probably like some sort of a smear campaign going on. You guys take what resonates. Um, I know I'm getting angry right now, <laughs> but I also know that um, that things will work out, and you know, what this masculine can choose whatever the fuck they want to choose, and then you can choose whatever you want. Um, okay, we've got listen. Um, sexy. Somebody thinks that you're sexy. Let's, let's, there's a lot here. Okay. I mean, I know you're sexy. So, whatever. We don't need to hear that from whoever this is. Oh, our hearts are in the same place. Huh. So, I feel like both of you care about each other. Okay? Why is this... This, this masculine needs to get out of his head and listen to his inner guidance. I feel like this masculine knows it, that this is not a healthy situation. And I feel like that's also why this masculine is holding their heart and not giving it away. And is thinking so much because if they were in a healthy situation, they would not be holding their heart. They would be giving it to somebody. But they're not giving it to somebody because... Um, because this karmic is not good. F fly freely. So I do feel like they are letting go. I mean, take what resonates, you guys. And we've got um, money flows to me like water. So when they let go, money flows to me like water. But you say this right now. Money flows to me like water. This is a great affirmation. Money flows to me like water. 848. I just saw the number 848. Um, mm. we've got smile, sparkle, shine. I feel like this is for you. You need to keep smiling and sparkling and shining and just like, you know, doing what you need to do for yourself, Divine Feminine. Um, hmm. Witchy things. Huh. I feel like you are like a high level healer and empath and this feminine like wants to be like that, okay? And so they're they're literally trying to get the energy, your energy from this divine masculine, okay? And then there's a there's another there's a um like there's a mom issue or something like that that is is making it difficult for this divine masculine to leave this karmic because the mother is a karmic as well and both of them don't feel comfortable with the rays and frequency that this divine masculine is going through which is really stupid because once this masculine goes through this transformation and raises their frequency it's going to affect the mother as well and you know, it's what it is. Um, trust your self-control. 
fake friends. Again, we have witchy things. I feel like there's some dark magic going on, and I'm not saying that like witches are all like dark or whatever. Witch is actually um, the word witch stems from a uh, Proto-Indo-European word that means wise one. Um, so, but witchy things in the context of this, I feel like there's some dark magic going on, and um, you you helped to lift their energy up when you came into this divine masculine's life. Um, out of this, you kind of helped lift them out of this situation. I feel. What else? Mm-hmm. They're shy. They're normally very shy. Um. Wow. I'm on a leash called you. I feel like they still they still want you, but they're just stuck with this karmic situation. If if they are, or they were stuck with this karmic situation, um, because of this this karmic parent who doesn't want to raise frequency. I've been waiting for this feeling. So it's like they've been waiting for a love like you. Um, and you're you're happy though, like you're happy. But I do feel like you know some of this is going on because we've got. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Um. So we've got focus on work. I feel like you need to focus on work. Focus on healing. I feel like you both need to focus on work, focus on healing. I mean, focus on yourself. Focus on fun. Just, like, focus on yourself and um, don't sweat the small stuff. Just flow. Huh. Wow. Overwhelmed with excitement? Huh. This is really weird energy. Now I feel like somebody is like so excited that they're letting go of a situation. They're excited to come back to you. But we've still got this wicked card. It's like they constantly are like going in and out and in and out. They're way too easily influenced by other people. This is literally what we were just, I was just, uh, we were just talking about it's, it's so important to have boundaries you can be an empath but you have to have boundaries because if you do not have boundaries then then you you can get thrown around like this and and it can make somebody very jaded and then it makes it then you turn to the dark side um <laughs> what else spirit twin flame so i definitely feel like this is a twin flame yep twin flame I'm always with you. Mm-hmm. Don't mess up my tempo. It's like these people keep messing with his strides. Like, what, what he's trying to do. It's like these people just keep fucking coming in and fucking with him. Oh, my God, this poor person. <gasps> oh! Oh! Let's pray for this human right now. God, please bless this human. <laughs> that must be so confusing. I just keep seeing, like, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's like they're so excited they're liberated, and then all of a sudden they're, tugged, they're like, tied back in. And then it, it's just like, this is what I'm seeing in my head, you guys. Ancestors, what else? Okay, we've got fire energy. We've got earth energy. I pulled these, and I kind of just set them aside. Um, yeah, karmic. What else, spirit? Anything else? Codependent. Somehow this person became codependent. Probably the, um, like the upbringing. I think, what did we, we pulled, um, mommy issues and I don't have time. Like, mommy doesn't have time. So, like, when you have abandonment issues, you, you tend to, um, do, like, a lot of, like, you're a people pleaser. Um, and so then you, you you tend to, uh, you know, how well you can please people is then uh, what validates your feelings to make up for the, the pain that you experienced growing up. And, um, but really what needs to happen is um, that pain needs to be released. This person needs to set boundaries for themselves with, with the parent 
and um, the relationships moving forward should be more healthy. And get the fuck, this karmic needs to get the fuck out. Like, I'm just saying, like, that's gross. I hate it when karmics come in and they are attracted to the other person's energy. and Because that is just nasty. That is nasty on so many levels. Like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know what else to say, you guys. I don't know what else to say. Queen B, that's who you are. That's what you are, okay? Mm-hmm. All the gibberish in my ear, I'm going to let it blow. All right? So just whatever, if this is, you know, the masculine that's, that's listening to this, like whatever they're saying to you, just in one ear, out the other ear. Feminine, if you are feeling this, just keep focusing on your work and uh, remember to eat, okay? I don't know if somebody needs to remember to eat, but um, yeah, I think that that is the reading. Um, you guys, let me know if it resonated, and just, you know, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys, and, um, yeah, thanks for all the likes and subscribes, and until next time. Okay, bye guys. Bye.